in this video I'm going to talk about the spacer element now uh, this is a cool uh, element which is uh, comes in handy uh, in uh, lots of uh, uh, in lots of times when you need it now in case you uh, don't know what it looks like or uh, don't know what actually this element actually is I will uh, actually create go to a home page right here and I'm going to edit this page with a page builder now the uh, the purpose of this element is to create a space between uh, a space a di uh, I don't know a distance uh, a separator or to divide or to simply resize uh, a space into uh, the page builder so I'm just going to use it in various uh, ways it only applies into the um, on the Y axis uh, only vertical so I'm going to simply search for yeah I was <laughs> typing search <laughs> now I'm just going to type spacer spacer element so as you saw this uh, this element was um, too uh, too close to this one so I will need a space and this element will come in handy to provide me a way to make the distance a bit bigger now as you can see the by default it has a uh, 30 pixels but I can make it up to 600 pixels of course I won't do that but you can actually find usages even for 600 uh, pixels but for the moment I'm just going to leave uh, the height to 100 now the other options are um, simple toggles whether you want this element to be displayed or not onto the other uh, breakpoints for example uh, if I leave this I don't know 300 uh, pixels to be very visible I will publish this page and if I resize the browser you can see the element will stay there no matter what now if I hide on medium breakpoint this means bigger than 900 sorry nine uh, bigger than nine 992 pixels and smaller than uh, 1199 pixels so I'm going to enable this and you should see something interesting it will uh, basically hide on that particular resolution now just a quick old, quick tip you can inspect the element open the developers console and when I'm going to resize you can see here the distance actually the size the width of the of the page so I'm going to increase uh, decrease it I, as you can see now I'm close to 1200 and as soon as I reach the uh, under 1200 basically the medium uh, breakpoint you can see it uh, that element has disappeared now if I go to even lower as you know as I explained um, 1992 is the uh, the minimum uh, distance so I'm just going to ah, exactly as you can see it appeared back because this element will only hide on that particular breakpoint so that's about it it's actually a very simple element you can use it uh, whatever you want you can it's like I said it's very handy to separate uh, vertical elements um, it's cool to have it and uh, I don't know it's just a simple element with which is very uh, helpful so if you have any troubles with this element subscribe to the support forums and my colleagues will assist you there and if you have any questions about the elements again uh, don't hesitate to uh, reach me and uh, I will gladly help 
So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.